Now, I think a lot of people have heard of Thor. Raise your hand if you've ever heard of Thor. Heard of Thor. Never. 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 Well, I'm so glad you were here because you are going to learn a little bit about Thor. Now, Thor, most of the stories about Thor, Thor is kind of a manly man. He, he, he's strong. He's, he's got, he's got a lot of things going on, and he has one favorite accessory that he likes to have with him. He has. He has. This is a rubber mallet. He has a rubber mallet. Yes. He he has generally. Okay, it might be traditionally a little bigger and a little more deadly than this, but he had an important hammer. When I first heard he had a hammer, I thought he was a carpenter guy. He liked he was a cobbler. Yeah. No, he had a hammer that played a very important role. This hammer, Milner, was part of what helped to make Osgard safe, and especially safe from the giants. And if anybody who wasn't supposed to be there came along, this was a very handy tool, and he took care of a lot of them. However, I'm going to tell you about the day where Thor woke up, he got ready, doing his morning routine. I'm sure he brushed and flossed, and, and he, was, he was all ready for his day, and he went over to pick up his hammer, and it wasn't there. What? He, it wasn't there. <laughs> Thank you for asking that. It wasn't there. He went over and he first he said to his family, have you seen my hammer? Where is Milton? No, have you seen it? And they all said, I don't know. I haven't seen it. That, that he called his, his buddy Loki over and said, Loki, do you know where the hammer is? And Loki for sure said, I didn't take it, it wasn't me. And he said, well, I didn't even think it was you, but do you know where it is? He said, I have no idea. I haven't heard anything around, but I am your sidekick. We will find it. And so he said, that's a great idea. So Loki and Thor went looking because what Thor knew, if he did not get his hammer in return, the whole world was in danger. All of the people might be killed. So they looked around and then they said, ah, it's time to go and ask the goddess Freya. She might know something. And she was, she was actually a very smart woman. But she right away said, I have no idea, but use your brain a little bit. Who might have a vested interest in stealing your hammer? And who might be gutsy enough to come in and take it while you're sleeping? And both guys scratched and said, I bet it was the giants. Ah. Good idea. But how are we going to know for sure? And then Freya said, perhaps you would like to borrow my feathered cloak. Why, yes, we would love to borrow it. And this is a, a traditional Scandinavian peacock feathered cloak. Flying, flying, flying. <laughs> that Loki flew way to the land of the giants. He landed, and because he was a good shapeshifter, he changed himself back into a man, and he walked right up to a giant that was sitting over, caring for his dogs, and said, in his best talking to giant voice, a oh, good day, how are you today? And the giant said, what are you doing over here? And he said, well, I was just checking if you might happen to have heard what happened to Thor's hammer. And the giant Thrym, he started laughing. <laughs> Do I, have I heard? I was the one who stole 
it. I sneaked into his bedroom, I grabbed it, and I have hidden it eight leagues under the earth where it will stay until somebody brings me Freya to be my bride. Loki thought, ooh, this is not good. So he put on the cloak, flew back, and he announced to Thor, who said, okay, Freya, it's time, let's go. Freya said, you have got to be joking. I am not going there. What would it do to my reputation if I went off to marry one of the giants? I'm not going. He said, well, you have to go. She said, I'm not going to, and you can't make me? No means no. That wasn't in the original. But somebody in the gods said, I've got an idea. Thor, why don't you dress up like the bride? You can pretend you're Freya, and then you can go get it. Thor's like, I, I don't think that's a good idea. You know, I'm, I'm a manly man. I'm a, I'm a tough guy. How is this going to work? He said, don't worry. We'll get you set up. They brought out all kinds of beautiful bridal outfits. They wrapped it around. They gave him a beautiful traditional bridal hat. They gave him a veil and said, oh, you are ready to roll. Well, as it turns out, Loki, who was a good shapeshifter, changed into a beautiful woman who would be kind of a handmaiden. Thor said, wait a minute, you're a shapeshifter, why aren't you the bride? said, never mind, we've got this down. <laughs> so they went off and they pulled into the area. Thor dressed as a very ravishing, beautiful bride. <laughs> Now, Thrym looked over and said, why my goodness, I have waited, it has been so beautiful, I have so much riches, but I have only waited for you, my dear Freya. Why, why you don't really look like what I imagined. You're even more beautiful. <sighs> Thank you, said Thor. said, why don't you come over and we'll have a feast. So they sat down, and Thor, although he was dressed like this, was very, very hungry. And so as the food came out, they said, would you like some oxen? Yes! And he ate the whole thing. Would you like some salmon? Eight of them, the entire ones, including the head. He ate all of the food, and the giant Thrym watched, saying, I have never seen a woman with such an appetite. And Loki's like, oh, this is not gonna work out. He said, oh, 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 you know why? You know why? You see, she was pining away for you for so long, for all these days she hadn't eaten, she's famished. And the room said, well, that makes sense. I could see that. So went over and Grim decided to pull up and maybe catch a little kiss. Went over, leaned to kiss, and Thor gave him a look, if looks could kill. Bam! Prim said, uh, wow, that, that was really, that was some look. Look, he's like, this is not working. Uh, oh, you know why that look came? Not only has your beloved Freya not been able to eat, but she has also not slept because she was just waiting for you. And Prim said, oh, okay, well then wait no longer, my love. Bring out the presents. And went forth and pretty soon out they brought the beautiful and mighty Miller and said, here you go, my darling. 
you may have this forever. As Thor looked at it, picked it up, and took off that hat, he said, at last! And he proceeded to, well, massacre all the giants who were there. Just like, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> then he said, I think, let's get out of here. And so they went off, got back home, and they said, from that day on, Thor always knew where his beloved hammer Milner was. The story of Thor and his wedding dress. Hmm.